Tina Peters defense team says that her sneaking or fellow election deniers into the Mesa County voting system might have broken some county rules, but it wasn't illegal. The former Mesa County clerk's felony trial continued today in Grand Junction. The former Republican clerk admits that she snuck people into her office's voting system to search for proof of election fraud. Today, the court heard testimony from Mesa County Election Director Brandy Bantz, who said that sneaking unauthorized people into a secure location full of election equipment required bypassing a complex system of passwords and shutting off video surveillance. Peters' attorneys argued that might be a breach of Mesa County policies, but it was not against the law at the time. Law's been changed since. The court also heard from Gerald Wood, a software engineer who claims his identity was the one stolen to create a badge used to sneak an election conspiracy theorist into the voting equipment room. Wood was one of several IT experts who went to a cyber symposium hosted by election denier and the MyPillow CEO, Mike Lindell. Participants there in 2021 were supposed to sift through all this raw data to uncover the proof that a foreign country had hacked the 2020 election. Wood said today in court that, quote unquote, the evidence was basically worthless. And it took us, these people with various IT and computer backgrounds, about six, seven minutes to look at it and say this isn't anything um, because it was missing key information that would <laughs> validate it and prove that it was right, it was valid or not valid. So without that information, it couldn't be proved true or false. It wasn't worth our time. Peters' trial will continue next week. She faces seven felony charges and three misdemeanors.